Free your spirit. Free your mind. Let your soul hear it. Your light will shine. Pastor A.D. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've been reading a psalm a day, and thank you so much for coming back. Uh, we're reading today, we, we're reading part two of Psalm 118. Amen. David, uh, he did read, he wrote majority of the, the psalms. He wrote about 73 psalms, and Asaph of 12, the, son, the sons of Korath 11, and then Solomon 2, and Moses and Ethan each one. And, and they were all written on the unction of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And then about 50, they don't have an a actual author of that, but also Haggai and Zechariah, uh, they wrote five. And um, amen. And we know that it was under the unction of the Holy Spirit as well. So uh, David, he was um, a, a man of God. Amen. He was, um, David, he was uh, the youngest son of Jesse of Bethlehem. And David, also, he was a direct ancestor uh, to Jesus, Jesus Christ. And he was also a warrior under King Saul. And he was chosen of God as well. And he was a, uh, a shepherd. Uh, he did tend to the sheep. And he developed fighting skills, amen, to defeat uh, the, the, the wild animals. They were big animals like bears and lions and uh, large animals. So he was very strong. He was short in stature, but he was strong. Um, he had uh, successes against uh, the Philistines, including Goliath. Also, he, it, that caused the king jealous, jealousy, uh, Saul. And he was forced to become an outlaw, David was. And after Saul's death, he became king over Judah. And in Hebron, he later was chosen king of all Israel. So David was a, a, a chosen man of God. Amen. And we're going to read today the second part of Psalms. Uh, second part of uh, of Psalms, amen, and we're starting at verse, I believe we're starting at verse uh, 10, I'm sorry, and it reads, all nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They can pass me about like bees, they are quenched in, as a fire of thorns, for in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They have you have thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The voice of the voice of rejoicing and salvation is, to, is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does val, Lord valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted, and the right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me sore, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God for the blessed reading of the word of God. Amen. We're going to start with verse 10 and elaborate. And it reads, All nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. And and this is, we're talking about, this is going through like verse 10 through 13. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and read uh, verse 12, 11 and 12, 13. They can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They can pass me about like bees, they're quenched as the fire of thorns, for in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. You have thrust sword me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. And... 
And this was, uh, it was so many of, of them, so many enemies. Uh, but he, but God destroyed them all. Uh, they were like, uh, it was so many of them, they were like a swarm of bees. It was so many. And he did it in the name of the Lord. And these are special words. And they mean, if you notice, it's always saying he's doing it in the name of the Lord. They mean that with everything that the name of the Lord means, it means that he is great and powerful. And it means that he loves his people and he gives them and he helps them. Um, and it means also that he will punish anyone that hurts his people. And th punish means that what means hurting someone because they love, they've done wrong. So when the enemy uh, pushed him, uh, the psalmist, then the Lord gave him help. And that's in verse 13. Verse 14, it reads, the Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. And this tells us that this made uh, them very happy. Let's see, this is uh, verse 14, I'm sorry. The Lord is my strength and song, and has become my salvation. So this is saying that it, you know, it tells us that it made them happy, and, and they sang psalms or songs, and um, that's what 14 is saying. Verse 15, the voice of rejoicing and salvation is the tabernacles of the righteous, the right hand of the Lord does valiantly. And this is saying that they uh, shouted and how great God was in their tents. And that's what they did. Then verse 16, it reads, and tabernacles, that means tents, that's what that means. The hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. And this is talking about the power of the Lord. Amen. Uh, he has won the victory. And, and, and he done this with his power. And uh, the Lord, uh, the power of the Lord done. He did mighty things. Amen. Verse 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. And he's saying that, the psalmist is saying that he will not die, but live. And he will tell what the Lord has done. Amen. And this is something that we should do. Is tell your testimony what the Lord has done for you. And always know that God will defend you from your enemies. Amen. Verse 18. The Lord has chastened me. Sore. But he has not given me over to death. And so this is talking about. That God, he did, you know, he, they were punished because of their disobedience uh, when they were with, you know, they uh, left them with the Egyptians, uh, be, become their masters. But God still, he said, you know, they still were, uh, they were still alive. Amen. That he did not give them over to death. So the Lord did chasten him severely. He did chasten uh, the people. And God chastens those that he loves, amen, but he will not let you, you, you're still alive, amen. Thank God for that. Verse 19, open to me the gates of righteousness, I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. And this is saying that um, only the righteous people could come into um, the gates, amen, because God was in the temple and it was, and it was righteous and his gates were righteous as well. And that even goes into verse 20 about the gates of the Lord, which the righteous shall enter. So the only people that could enter into the gate of the, of the temple was the righteous people. Amen. So this is something that we should do. Uh, we should read uh, the New Testament and study what it says about Psalms 118. Uh, read Matthew, get a pencil and read Matthew 21 and the 42nd verse. Read Mark 12, verses 10 and 11. Also read Luke 20, 17, verse. And also read Acts, the fourth chapter, and the 11th verse. And also last, read 1 Peter, second chapter, and the 7th verse. And that'll, um, you can study about what the New Testament is saying about Psalm 118 as well. So, Psalm 118 is, um, he was explaining in the second part that how God destroyed his enemies, how, 
how he destroyed the enemies and how God chastened them, him, but he didn't let them die. And also, um, they were happy. They sang songs when, they, the, when, the, when the defeat, when they, their enemies were defeated, and the power of the Lord uh, has won the victory. And so that's letting you know that you have the victory because you're God's child, and that's when you have to accept him. When you accept him, you get these benefits, and he will, because God has all power. Amen? And also, um, God will take care of your enemies. And, uh, and also, uh, and in those days, only the righteous could come in because God was in the temple. And you had to be righteous. Your temple has to be righteous. You have to live upright before God. Amen. And then also, you need to read and read, uh, read about uh, some scriptures I've given you in Matthew 21, 42 and Mark, and Luke, and Acts, and First Peter. Thank you so much for tuning in. Amen. If you haven't repented, you need to do that. Let the Lord know you're sorry. Go to Romans 10, 9. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. God bless you. We'd like to thank you for paying attention because in a minute we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor Ava E. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry. We'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. If you got any questions or if you need prayer, 702-505-9697 or email Ava Nichols, the number one at yahoo.com. You can find us on YouTube, Unknown Soldier 8, that's U-N-K. N O W N S O U L D I E R, the number eight on Yahoo. Also, check with PureSoul.biz. Thank you. We love you.